it is Monday. Um, I've been journaling and my butterflies have, most of them have had this task um, or a similar task. We have done it a lot more focused and a lot more to a certain, to a point that is personal to them. Um, but it's something that I was kind of doing myself this morning and I think all of you need to do it. I think everyone should do it. Thank you, Steph. I love my butterflies. <laughs> so yeah, that came in perfect timing. So you do owe it to yourself to do this. Um, and that is, I want you to tell yourself what advice you needed to hear when you was younger. Because what a lot of us do in adult life, we feel a certain way in our childhood, be it scared, be it lonely, be it unlovable, be it unwanted, whatever emotion it might be for you in your childhood, in your adolescence, there'll be something that has made you feel unsafe or unable to relax in a, a relaxing state. Does that make sense? Makes you able to feel like you can just sit still without someone shouting or whatever it may be, or maybe you only got shown love if <clears throat> there'd been a big massive argument and you had to really, really apologise and work for that love. So there can be lots of different things that have happened to us in our childhood. Even if you've not necessarily gone through a specific trauma like myself, um, there will still be things that your body told you way back then, oh my gosh, because this is happening, you need this emotion and we're, we're going to keep it with us. And you kind of forget then over the years to be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not actually in this situation now. I don't, I don't actually need that now. But because it becomes part of us, we carry it and carry it and carry it and carry it and carry it. And one of mine, <coughs> excuse me, what is up with my throat? One of mine, it's, it's like froggy throat, that, isn't it? What's going on? One of mine has been feeling scared and feeling like I can't relax. And I've realised that that is then why I do struggle to relax now. There's lots of other reasons why you will struggle to relax, but definitely one of mine is that I struggle to just sit and watch TV. I'll be on my phone at the same time. If I'm on my phone at the same time, I'm usually doing something else at the same time. I'm, I'm always busy, 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 busy. And in doing that, that's avoidance. That's not feeling safe to just be comfortable and be relaxed. And so I've been really working over the years on that and being able to shut off and doing things like crocheting while watching the TV to really take your mind off it. Crocheting is good for many of the reasons that we won't go into. Um, but one of the things as well is to actually then get deep on where that is coming from. I hear you on that as I, I hear you on that as it feels my childhood haunts me. Yeah, definitely like I'm not sure if you're aware Emma. Um Yeah, that you don't feel uh ditto it but then it feels like nothing's been accomplished. So you, you don't feel like you've had any switched off time because you haven't. And um I am a survivor of childhood sexual abuse of a parent, be it being my dad. Um, so again, when, with the coffee situation, I do think that I've just never realised, oh, well, they always drank coffee. Um, and so maybe that's why I just dislike coffee. Um, and it's about bringing that to the conscious to then be like, actually, it's just coffee. Do you know what, guys? Drink your coffee. And that, that was realising that in that moment then and thinking, oh, hang on, I've just remembered they drank coffee. Whereas in the past, I would have been scared of going to that subject and go, oh my God, yeah, they drink coffee. Is that why I don't like coffee? I don't want that to be why I don't like coffee. Whereas instead now, it's instantly made me think, Oh, whatever guys then have your coffee do you know what i mean and we'll, and we'll see I'd, I'll, I'll try and come back in a few weeks and be like actually look at me let's see if i can taste coffee but it does stink though doesn't it <laughs> we will see so it's things like that she's grabbing it again put it down <laughs> it's just automatic like can i have one sip why am i asking you imagine if you all comment no no you can't first yourself first yourself no what word was i trying to look for there so for me, that feeling of being scared is what I wrote a letter to myself today. Um, I know I just did, didn't I? <laughs> um, I wrote a letter to... No, I don't even see what the dog's trying to get to me. Um, a letter to the young me to help me feel safe. That is literally what I've wrote um, in, in that side of my journal this morning. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to read it out. I haven't read it back to myself, so I'm not 100% clear what I've said to myself. Let's just see. Um, 
How old am I getting when I have to do this? It's because I can't, it's because I'm dyslexic and I need my Erlen syndrome glasses. None of you will have heard of them. If you have, comment. Um, so I don't even, they just help it focus, but I'm dyslexic, so they still jump everywhere. So my reading might not be the best. So no, they're not doing me much. <laughs> um, I have to put my finger on the lines because of my dyslexia, so just deal with me. Oh my gosh, little lady, you've been through so much, so young. I'm probably gonna get emotional. <laughs> you are desperate to be loved and you are the most lovable person. I really can't cry, I've got mascara on today. It is nothing to do with you at all. It's their pains, their demons, their flaws, their problems that stop them. Wow. You are safe. It doesn't feel it right now. And I know you are so scared and so confused. I know you've tried to tell mummy, but tell her again. She makes you safe. Well, safe from dad anyway. You spend so long feeling unloved, but I promise you, you can do and you will be safe soon. <laughs> So I'd not actually, I'd written that and then pretty much come on live thinking, do you know what? Everybody, you owe it yourself to do this. Look at the state. Why is it the day I've put my scar when I cry my eyes out? You owe it yourself to talk to you, to talk. No, what are you crying for? I'm fine. To talk to that um, that little girl inside. It's just because I'm getting upset. She's just trying to help me. Um, to talk to that little girl inside of you um and and ask her what she needs to feel safe ask her what is going on for her what was going on for her what does she need to hear from you and it's such a powerful task and i will i will go more into that um i know <laughs> i didn't realize what was up with her and then as i started getting emotional i was like oh that's why she she'll have picked up on it as i was doing it then i've kind of jumped on the live and then we so yeah but I'm fine, but you, you, you smell, do you know, like, really smell. <laughs> Love you too, but no. Um, oh, she's got that wet dog smell because it's raining. She's not wet anymore, but she needs a spray. Um, and you're too big. Like, she's too big now. So, yeah, um, obviously it's too much to ask you <coughs> to um, share in the group what you want to hear or what you need to say to yourself because I, I know i've just done it then but it's, it's it'd be quite hard to expect you guys to do that it's been a long time to be as open as i am um so i would just say let me know if you are going to do the task and let me know if you do it did you have a big breakthrough it, it might not feel instant and i'm not I'm, I'm not a massive believer of these therapies and these techniques where it's like oh instant oh ha, ta -da! life's perfect no it takes time to let them things change and to you know, like I've just said with the coffee analogy, jump down now. No, jump down. Like I've just said with the coffee analogy, it might then take me a while now. It's like I've realised that. It's like, oh, wow, that's that's huge. But it'll still then take time to start re having that new connection. But no, don't. Um, she, She's distracting me now. It's either the kids or the dog. Can't win in this house. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're watching this on replay... um, Stop it. It sure does, honey. If you're watching this on replay... Is there hashtag replay and let me know if you're going to be doing it. Steph, she's one of my... but Stop it now. Steph's one of my butterflies. Um, so she's got this task, but she's got it in a very specific way to her because I'm aware of... Don't you pull that off. I'm aware of her life. <laughs> um, there's not much about her life, I don't know. Um, and she's also one of my closest friends now from becoming a butterfly. So Steph has been given this task very, very specifically. Um, and obviously I can't write, for gosh sake, this is why she's doing it because she knows it'll work. So I can't, um, like, you can go in the baby pose, but just chill. Ugh, like, go in the shoulder or something. So I can't, um, no, you don't want it, do you? Go on that one then. Um, so, <laughs> she's such a baby. Don't lick my ears distracting dog so i can't um give you all specifically if you did want to this is what i'm trying to get to the point of this is basically what we do in the uh, the stronger than your mind academy through the five stages this is the sort of work that you'll be doing but on a much deeper level and a much more specific level because the tasks you will have done leading up to it will help you then to know exactly what part it is you want to do um we lost touch when I disappeared from Facebook for 18 months and yours. I know we did, didn't we? It feels like we had such a break. Oh, you too, you too. I love seeing your stuff. Um, 
Facebook tried to keep us apart, but it didn't work. Look at us now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the sort of stuff that you get in the, it's a five stage program, the Academy. You've got accepting your mind, understanding your mind, reset your mind, condition your mind, and then stronger than your mind. So if you've heard this task, but you're thinking, oh, I really want to do that, but I just, I'm not sure where to start or how I'd get deeper, then do make sure that you sign up um, for the waiting list for the Stronger Than Your Mind Academy so that you're the first to know when the doors are going to open um, and then you'll get exclusive early bird offers and things like that. Um, Steph, my, my butterfly, who's commenting on live directly now, directly, no, I just mean like live. Um, she's one of what I call my founding butterflies, so she's one of the ones who've helped me um, to create the academy, to get it going and has um, extensive one-to-ones with me um, for a long, long time to help me craft the academy and to be my guinea pigs, basically. Do the work on them and be like, oh, look at my butterfly flying high. Let me put all that into one place. <laughs> so if you, if you want to join the waiting list, I will put it in the comments after this live because I completely forgot to copy and paste the link. <laughs> Could just be like, oh, it's not letting me comment. I haven't got the option, but well, I can't have to see it right there. I've just forgot to copy and paste the link. Um, so I'll put that in now. Ah, look at my butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Love you. Not you. Don't, don't even try and kiss me now. Why did I just do that? She's going down. She's so heavy. So I hope you have an amazing Monday. I'll be back next Monday morning. Similar-ish time. Um, I will even tell you now with my handy little book what I will be discussing with you next Monday because... I like to plan, um, and I've planned a hell of a lot, but now I can't find my page. I've never lost my entire plan. Right, there we go. That's a lot of planning. <laughs> so, next Monday is... Ooh, I'm not going to tell you. Next Monday is quite interesting. So, I'm not going to tell you because I can't think of a title for it, okay? But um, yeah, it'll be quite motivating, that one, next Monday. So come back um, next Monday, similarish time, because I've just dropped the baby off, got in, done that, got on. Um, yeah, so let me know if you're going to do this task. If you do, do, if you do, do, if you do, do, if you do, do, I really struggle with that line, me. If you do, do it. If you do, do it. If you do, do the task. Um, let me know, even if you want to private message me and be like, look, this is what I did, and you might want to share a picture of it with me, or be like, oh, right, it's made me think of this, blah, blah, blah. Um, then I will pop a post in the group, or send me a message, or anything like that, and just let me know. Oh, you two, I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to go deal with this damn dog. I'm fine now, I'm happy. Woo hoo, calm down. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go play with her for five minutes. So you're knocking it off now. Uh, have an amazing day. Please let me know if you're watching on replay, and I will see you. I'll be back in Thursday. <laughs> Um, but then for lives like this, I will see you Monday. <sighs> I'll go off and play with my dog, shall I?